what's popping youtube welcome back to my channel this is your girl shayla and you guys are currently on life of shayla so today i wanted to bring you guys a video i'm sure you guys can tell by the title what the video is about yes it is going to be on the sister logs so i know a lot of people have a lot of questions about this when they first start their journey i'm what like 15 months in or I'll be 14 months soon. So I still have that issue because a few of my locks have broken off, so they are baby locks. So if you guys would like to see how to, or should I say, if you guys would like to see the best way to protect your baby locks before and during washing your hair, stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. Let's get right into this video. So I have my two ponytail holders here. I probably need more than that, y'all, but we just gonna do the two. So um, y'all have been having this ponytail in my hair for I don't even know how long. This is how I don't touch my hair, right? So we are going to let this hair out and we are about to get right into braiding and bending. Um, I'll probably fast forward through me doing the back just because the video is more so about baby locks and all my baby locks are in the perimeter. Yeah, but I'm gonna turn around and start the back for you guys and then we will get up close and personal on the baby locks once I turn around and get to the front. So let's get started. Wait, before we get started, if you are not subscribed to this channel, baby i don't even understand why not so go ahead and hit that subscribe button please be sure to like and comment and if you're feeling frisky go ahead and hit that bell notification so every time i post a video you'll be what notified yes you'll be notified so let's get into this braiding and banding girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you, I can't take no more I miss your touch from your hands and your body It hurts so much to think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me I'm gonna do everything for you, I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me Can we stop the clock and rewind, go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya, begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the all right guys, so now we are moving into the front where you guys will be able to see how I do these baby locks. So I do still like to do my hair in four sections in the front. Grandma, ponytail holders. All right, so what I like to do is I like to grab my hairs up here and see if I feel any baby locks. All right guys, so for whatever reason, these right here are starting to thin really bad. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's either because of my glasses or I don't know. 
so i am going to actually protect those as well so this is how i do my braiding and banding to protect my baby locks make sure that they do not unravel during during washing i'll grab a little section and i'll do a smaller braid And I still try and do the braid small enough to where it doesn't pull, but I don't braid down either all the way. I just do braid down a little bit so you guys can see that this is all the hair that is still left out because I did implement regular locks in there. Then I take, oh, you know what? I do still have one up here. Let me show you guys this lock. So you guys can see that you probably think like, oh, it's not really a baby lock, but some hair broke off there. So I don't want to risk it unraveling. And then for whatever reason, I have a little Afro piece here. I don't know where that came from. I'm starting to wonder like, dang, was it a lock and it came down? I don't know. But I'll do the same thing for these ones. I'll grab a few locks. And start a little braid. You guys don't want to do these too tiny either to where it's difficult for you to take them down. And then same thing here where I will not braid it all the way. So you guys can see about how much is loose. Now I will take both of those little braids that I did and I will implement them both into the bigger plait. And I do still make sure I have enough finger space. You guys can probably see my finger there. To get in between so I can still cleanse my scalp. I don't know what the popping was about, but y'all get it. And um, I know you guys probably saw that I didn't put any rubber bands in the back. So I stopped using rubber bands a while ago because to me, like no matter how I tried to take it off, whether I popped it, whether I cut it, whether I, whether I tried to unravel it, I was always getting some hair in there. So I'm like, I got to find another way to not use rubber bands, which one of my ways um, used to be using like big clips. My daughter is way beyond barrettes, so I didn't have any barrettes to use. So I would just use like some clips or some of my sunlock clips. Y'all know the little silver like mini duck bill clips that you use for locks. All right, so here's another one right here. Like I said, guys, these are pretty much like baby locks again because they have broken off. So it might seem long, but the ends are really like nowhere near locked. So I don't want it to unravel. And I think that's all we have in this one. Let me just double check. Like this one, it, same thing. I don't know what's up with the front of my hair, but we'll get into that in another video. So let me go ahead and just repeat. Alright, so we have these two over here. And if you guys are new and you guys haven't seen any of my videos previously to this one, the sh front is a lot shorter because before I actually got sister locks, I had chopped off so much heat damage at the top of my hair. Um, I had literally chopped it down to like two maybe three inches i chopped it really short and i was gonna wait until it like met back up to the front before i had locked it but i was like bro what am i waiting on i didn't want to put it off any longer so i went head on with the process and got it locked so the top was like six inches when i got it locked while the back was like anywhere from nine to twelve inches so you just want to repeat that same process See if you have any baby locks in here.
section here. So I think over here I have a few. Yeah, I think this is where I have the most three. I literally just feel like I kind of know where they are so I just feel to make sure like I have them all all right guys so I have four of them right here let's see if you can see that hopefully you can so four of them right there I'm gonna grab them and grab some more hair to throw in the mix and repeat now make sure when you're braiding this little braid that you're not causing too much tension you're not pulling it too tight i mean you want to do that with your hair in general whether you're styling ponytail braiding and banding all that and just to make sure you're not causing too much tension i mean just because we have locks does not mean they're unbreakable they definitely will still break and you don't want them problems because baby them some problems i'm having right now and it's pissing me off anyways let's go ahead and get this last plait plait it up All right guys, so there we go, we have eight plaits. See, I do my plaits a bit bigger now because like I said, I'm almost 14 months into my journey so I don't have to do um, smaller plaits. This works for me. I'm sure if you have like longer logs too, um, doing smaller plaits, I mean sorry, bigger plaits will be fine. And I no longer have to braid it, um, band it because you know, I found a method to where they do not unravel. Um, in the beginning of my journey, when I would braid down, I wasn't braiding down. Um, I would leave still like an inch unbraided, so that's why I was bending. But now that the ends are a lot more secure, I don't worry about bending. But if you are still fairly new or you still need to band, you can still follow the same method. Just make sure that when you get to the end, you band band use your clip use your barrettes or whatever it is you use but luckily for me i don't have to worry about my hair unraveling in the shower anymore or when i wash it so that is why i do not use that method but this is what we're looking like we have four plaits in the front and we have four plaits in the back and as you guys can see those baby locks are protected i've been doing this method for a while now i think i learned this method i want to say maybe like three or four months into my journey i was like bruh it gotta be a way for these baby locks to stop coming out so i started this method now the next method i need to find is how to get them to stop breaking off like that's annoying but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll be sure to check you guys in my next video till next time I miss your touch from your hands and your body.